Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. All yeah, right, so uh, it's a rematch with Nomo and Momo. And uh, my, my friend Scandal here is going to be handling this one because they are great at spamming the helicopter move with Momo and should kick his butt. I. that is definitely the idea. The, the butt kicking should be there. Honestly, I. that little move is a hilarious yeah, That little move. move reminds me of Mil Tank with Rollout, and it is bad. What's Mil Tank? Mil Tank is a Pokemon. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no more is a Pokemon. Yes. Gotta get, like, okay, so, so are we saying that um, All for One is building a Pokemon army? And that everyone can just deploy these Pokemon against, you know, the heroes. I mean, it sounds about right. Uh, ha, ha, I kind of love that. So I still don't know very much about Pokemon, but my friend here knows more than I, I have do. definitely played a lot. It, it is more than I do, I would say. But um, this this battle was so uncomfortable to me. I'm just like in the show or just in like even in the show because All Might had a hard time beating this and guy. Nova? Yeah. And suddenly you got. I mean, and, and I just assumed. Because of my experience at the time, that all no Mu were the same thing, because they all have the same name. And so, well... You just went, all the kids are going to die. Yeah, I was. I really was like, the kids are going to die, because this is no Mu, which is specifically designed to be All Might. Except for no Mu is just the name of this process of creation, as far as right. I can tell. And they all can be made really, really differently. Which you see more later and more variations on no Mu. I want to see them expressing more quirks based on the way that I understand they are put together. I want they to see them supposed doing, to express more quirks. I want to see them like controlling the wind, creating water, growing Got giant it. teeth, shooting swords, whatever it is. You know, having other I mean, quirks and blowing they shit up. Remember how there's a couple of them that definitely do start to like the one that has the spikes that grow out of it. Do you remember? There is yeah. the one, but that like I don't know like, if it's this one or another one, but they don't have it on it, and I don't know why. I say, but given like how, um, yeah. I say, I don't know if I do remember that one at all, but that's okay. okay. I say, anyway, given how they're supposed to be made and how many things they have shoved into them, mm -hmm. I'm just like, why don't they have more expressive functional quirks rather than passive quirks? So for me, I've always made a distinction between an active quirk and a passive quirk. Um, yes. In the sense that a passive quirk is something you are, and an active quirk is something you can do. Right. So All Might's quirk is both active and, and passive, passive. Because yep. he's super strong and super sturdy and has, you know, great basically resilience. And active, that's his strength and his speed, how strong he can, how fast he can move. Right. And when I say strong in the first sense, I mean like his body is strong and resilient to things. Right. I say, and, and you have also, like um, you would have Nezu's quirk, which physically, I mean, like, he's he's been physically changed from the animal he was born as, because he was born as a natural animal, and no natural animal looks like that. Right. So that would be the passive piece of his quirk. And the active piece of his quirk would be his intelligence, the thing he uses. What am I? Am I a ferret? Am I a dog? Am I a cat? Who am I a teddy bear? Am I a rat? Who knows? But I am Nezu, and I am here. Hi so I have, I have an OC, and one of her parents, their quirk is Chinchilla. And while he is probably about Nezu's size, he's around three foot four with his ears up, uh -huh. um, he looks like a large chinchilla. And that is his entire quirk. So it is a passive quirk because he can't do anything miraculous with it because there's no special miraculous skills, unlike Frog, apparently, that chinchillas have. Which is quite ridiculous because when you think about it, chinchillas are very resilient and actually, like, right. they have great fur. That is probably, that is honestly, I think that, that's the quirk. That's uh, the quirk is just, I am silky. Styling. And amazing, amazing. and beautiful. I'm always wearing a chinchilla coat. I am ah. Corella de Vil would hate me. <laughs> Corella de Vil wants to be me. He wants to be me. I, honestly. <laughs> so years ago when I was being edgy, I said, do you know, do you think people who wear fur are just low-key furries? <laughs> so you have Cruella de Vil going, I'm just trying to be a furry, and this is the Hi. best way I can do it. Honestly. Wearing a mink coat and going, I just want to be closer to no, 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 no. And going, yeah. you're halfway there, honey. <laughs> ha I'm halfway there. Oh, my God. Leave yourself the sky like human cannibals to catch the villains. Catch them! Uh, Gonna that, catch him! At that point, we're not catching the villains, we're careening into them, you know. She showed up going, wow! She was attacking us too, going, ah, but I love you because, you know, Ochako loves you. I mean, they do. I, they, they do make her blush in every single scene of like, I am they super do. into either and both of and all of you in this case. And I'm like, 
But also, I'm like, the only way you apparently know how to express affection is to cut people up. So that is, you know, a bit problematic, potentially. I, dude, really? Like, you are so fast. I am I, you just forgot. Don't... Forgot what? That she is that fast? She, that she's fast. Come on. Thank you. I will hold you in place if you are going to be a fast booger. I will freeze you down. I, and she's like, nope, not going to happen. You. Come on. Come on. Hit her. Yes, do it. Please. Just hit her. Oh my god. My friend Thank had you. done so well, and now my friend's like, I don't. I do it okay. Honestly, this really is truly kind of difficult running from one character to the next. Like, it is baffling. It does. Sometimes it, there's not it messes with you kind of hard. A lot of, like, warming up or, or connecting to it or anything like that. Like, there's very little time to organize your brain to, I am doing and can do something else. Go away. Like, bitch, go away. Really? Like, really? I will freeze me if that's what it takes. And this will be the, this will be the process. This is gonna happen. This is, will be an experience. Come on, I'm gonna be like, go oh, away. Yeah, time to smash. No. <laughs> I will burn. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna I, do it! I'm gonna do it! Gotta do it! I will kick your butt. <laughs> Win a battle with a sidekick support! Come on, hit her! Thank yes. you! Yes! I'm like, I keep throwing things and I'm like, You're always too far away. Totoro, he freaks out, freezes the entire battlefield. Thank you! <laughs> I'm also confused because in relation to the story, while it's fun to play through the anime slash play through the manga, I was kind of actually expecting that it was going to do its own thing where it's like you could pick a character and play through that character's storyline. Oh, that Rather would have been fun and just see everything uh -huh. that they saw. Which is what I was used to, though, in relation to playing fighting games. Do you remember, like, Mortal Kombat did that? They would tell you their a... side of the story. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, why did this one choose to do this? And I'm like, because it makes it much easier to, you know, keep track of a character. You don't have to go practice with that one character and then another character, and then another character to try to figure out what the hell you're doing so much, you know? Uh-huh. Like, I... And there's the laser support. Yeah! Whoosh! Whoosh! Yeah! Uh, the catch on was and still the villain's clutches. People are so preoccupied with Dobby, it amuses me. Because everybody's going like, ah, Dobby might be a Todoroki! Uh -huh. In fact, it's like one of those things in the fandom, and I'm just kind of waiting now. Wait, Dobby might be a Todoroki? Yeah. Oh, like part of their family uh -huh. tree? So yeah. does he do fire or cold? Yeah, Dobby's the fire kid. He has blue fire, remember? Oh, okay, That's okay. Dobby, yeah. Dobby is... I haven't really seen him use his corn. Oh, it's okay. He mostly just is the, the skin guy to me. He's the flesh man. He's really just the weird, stapled, dead flesh guy. I'm like, you look burned his flesh extensively. Uh, but yes. that looks like necrotic flesh to me. Like, uh -huh. it's dying on top of you. Like, those are failed skin grafts. And therefore, you should be rotting in place. This is the problem that I have with some of these quirks, where I continue to think biological-wise and going, okay, if you're muscular, you shred yourself open and everything becomes uh, basically... Muscle. Uh, becomes uh, susceptible to environmental pathogens. Yes. So in the way that we're covering our faces now, going, that's your mucus membranes and you need to not have exposure, uh -huh. cover your eyes, you know, that kind of thing, very well with that going, one. you have an experience with him of going, okay, so he's shredded open, so every bit of his body that's torn open right. is susceptible to all kinds of contaminants, pathogens, but bacteria, and viruses. Right. Unlike, he should be a mess. Yeah. He should be infected at all times in he my brain. He should be oozing pus everywhere? Yes. Yeah, like, like the thing is, is when he tears open, it should be a massive risk of infection yes. to my brain. Now, part of his quirk is probably that he's in Brazil. Yes, I know, right? When he's torn open and doesn't require his skin as the protectant that the rest of us do. Because honestly, your skin protects you against a shit ton of things. That's, it's actually not just there pointlessly to be like, ah, I have the fleshies. Which is why an open wound is so dangerous. Not because, ah, you could bleed, because a lot of open wounds don't bleed. It's because they can let things in themselves. They get infected, not because, oh, I can get infected but because there's infection out there and the skin's not stopping it from getting in. Well, what if they're trying to treat the muscle tissue basically as like another flesh, like another skin layer, which seems really weird, but that's the only answer I have going like, so is it somehow encased muscle fiber, which makes no sense to me? Then at that rate, as a scientist, I would definitely want to sample and be, You'd be like, like, this please. would be amazing. Holy Don't shit. Move. Like, just hold a snip of that pose and let me get this thing into a Petri dish. And under a microscope. Like I now. need to know what these cells are so hard. Well, and that's another thing, too. I'd be like, dude, don't you have, like, potentially, like, it, like you have extreme <laughs> cancer, like, resistance then? Because you're growing and destroying tissue constantly. Uh -huh. Getting, and basically, you, know, you can't have malignant tissue growth because you have such a connection to tissue growth at all. Yeah. Because it's so controlled within your body and oh, intentional. Man. 
muscle solving solving, solving cancer. Oh god. We need to fix this problem by ourselves. Fighting. Adults cannot be counted on ever to do anything. This made me angry. Adults were not running the world, you know, before we were born and or aren't the professionals in this situation. I idolize All Might in all ways and he is my hero, says Midoriya. And yet, I will constantly undermine him and misuse the power he has given me. This is fine. Okay, so I have some problems with Deku. And while I will say that in general, emotionally, intellectually, he is a functional cinnamon roll. He would be a good friend. He is a nice person. He is irresponsible and disrespectful in reference to the professional thing he is doing. And that pisses me off. I don't care how nice someone is, if they're going to potentially ruin someone's legacy that they have sworn to protect, I don't believe in their character very well. And I say, like, their character in the moral sense, I guess, of, like, you know, you have good character. Right. Not, like, their character sense of, oh, yeah, he's a written, you know, char fictional character. Right. So, like, that is, that is a problem that I have, personally, when somebody goes, what I say and profess is this thing, and uh, he's a hypocrite in that way. And that's probably a controversial viewpoint, because again, Deku is a very nice person. But it's possible for a very nice person who could be a very to good be friend. To be quite an idiot, actually. To be one, an idiot, and two, an absolute hypocrite to the point of being dangerous. And also, again, deeply disrespectful to All Might and the Quirk, one for all. Dang it! Which he is continually, essentially misusing to a dangerous point where he could ruin the, um... Uh, the, the potential the, for the quirk to continue. Right. Because well, one, if he gets himself killed, it's gone. Or and he two, breaks his body if he over. breaks his body to pieces, they immediately need a new vessel that's not him. And one, he cannot live his dream. And two, he has ruined All Might's investment in him as his protege, um, you know, a successor. And three, he now has to find another one. Yep. And then give it to them. Eat this green hair. Do it! Them. And that, while I understand at the beginning of the story, they tell you it's not going to happen. They tell you this is the story of how I became the greatest hero ever. It's agony to watch over and over and over again. Yes, because if the author didn't tell you I'm writing a fictional story that will turn out well in the end, and it were real life where he were doing these things, or it were a person with an unknown outcome who were doing these things, then he really could just Honestly, destroy himself and that could be the end of it. Even just a story with the hero where he keeps destroying himself that hard, I'd still be like, oh my god, are you going to lose this one day? Yeah. And you could actually push that even harder because, you know, they have the, the thing where they keep threatening that they're going to kill All Might, basically, yeah. that people keep talking about going, oh my god, is All Might going to die? And yeah. I'm like, now you'd actually be at greater risk to go, oh my god, is Deku going to lose these powers? Yeah. Like, if they didn't open the series with that, can you imagine the amount of tension people would have every single episode? Of going... Deku oh might lose the ability to have this quirk, or might lose the quirk altogether for line of succession if he does. Right? He might be just unable to function. Yes. Eventually. Like, that's just gonna happen. That's a backpack. I know, it? and we got all three. It's got yes! a weird little face on it. Had to... But yes, Who's we got all three. Good job. Well done. Uh, Izuku back. Oh, his school backpack. That's his backpack. Oh. And he wears the yellow, yellowish tan one at the bottom. I mean, yeah, it's he does. yellow when he wears it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all right. The, so the, the tan is I'm now tan watching the time. All right, so You're here like, we go with this one. And I'll try and be Bakugou. Yes, Bakugou, who's going to attack the people in the bar. Bakugou is going to be like, I am not a villain. Them. Bush. Of course you are. Them. You are the most villain, McVillain, I've ever seen. What your problem is is teamwork. Uh-huh. It. He's like, I stand alone! And I am a whole creature all on my own! All Might shows up with a team. Bakugo, impossible! <laughs> impossible! My, my non-hero that I wish to nonetheless succeed in power is works alone! Works! All Might works alone, therefore I will work alone. I'm not a fan of All Might. I hate All Might. I hate All Might. He I think nothing of him. Trips falls over, 90 million pictures fall out. I hate All Might him. Angrily <laughs> starting him back into his backpack. No, no, I hate All Might. All these beautiful pictures. they gorgeous. I've seen that meme. I love I that it meme. so hard. It makes me so happy. It's so good. I do. I just I hate see. necrotic tissue. Yep, necrotic tissue. And I'm also like, he shouldn't be able to blink. 
Uh, based off of what I understand, so I've actually uh, spent a lot of time, at least when I was growing up, actually listening to the story of a gentleman who was burned extensively over most of his body, um, and how he recovered from it and was able to function again, but it was still one of those things of like, his whole body being wrapped, the whole process of having to be oh, in oh, water. school is... uniform! Yes! Oh! Uniform! School uniform! A school uniform! So we do get, uh, we don't get other clothes, but we have scenes with other, can you get up there and get him? Thank you. Get up there and be his ass on the wall because gravity does not apply to you. And it shouldn't. Come on! Hit him! Oh my god, where is your ranged attack? I hate you. There we go. Thank you. You're like, I couldn't really? remember! Three? What is the three? Why did I yell three? I don't know! What the hell was that? Come on, blow him up, please! I love him going to blow you up with okay. the thing, and the problem is, is that you don't have the murder explosion outfit on. Right? He's like, I will use this, and yet I cannot use this because I'm not wearing it. Uh huh. Can't which is do hilarious. it. I'm like, they okay. should have redone Come it. Come on, Shigaraki, die! And he's like, no, you will die. He's like, no, I can't. Also, like, how do those hands hold on? Is there like a thing of you can't get knocked down? Three I times? think this is kind of a thing of like it's it's a match of like I will only beat you if I do these certain things. Come on, do not grab me. No, 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 no. Thank you. No, you need to get up. All, All right, right. You didn't come slam on. Him on the ground. Though, come please. on, I can do this, and I am so angry that it is not working. Going, this is the move that I want, and you are not giving it to me. Thank you. Yes, good job. Come on, hit him again. Just keep. Hitting him! Oh my god, I'm blocking and it's not working. I I will just keep complaining and try and extricate myself from the wall. It's fine. Can I just hit you more, you skinny boy? He's super skinny. He is honestly. very stringy. Come yeah. on, hit him. Please. Destroy him! Yes! yes! Thank Good you! Good job! Yeah, For goodness that. sake! Blow him up, Mur King Murder Explosion! King Murder Explosion! <laughs> this game is so fucking ridiculous. So I bad. Know. Everybody's just like, well, the bar is gone. The building falls out around him. <laughs> Headquarters are gone. Them all look at Bakugo. You have ruined part of this. You will now have no more money when you become a hero. If you become a hero at all. You might, in fact, be basically put in what is akin to juvenile detention for this amount of behavior. Um, Plus, wow, you need to go back into corrective counseling. Like, holy cow, you need so much support. You need so much information. We have been neglectful. We are terrible teachers. We should be ashamed of ourselves. So there is a level of the responsibility of the teacher slash management, and then there's a level of responsibility of the individual, yeah. where there's a lot of stress put on many leaders and teachers of going, you must absolutely control all the behavior right. of those underneath you, which is not true. But it is your responsibility to make sure, as best as possible, that they understand the gravity of what's expected of them and what the consequences will be, as well as what their personal responsibility is. So if you do have someone that is generally a loose cannon and you inherit them or you find this out about them, it is your responsibility to go, what are your goals? Here are the things that you are doing that will get in the way of your own goals, and let me tell you how you can get around them. That's really important to connect them right. based on what their value system is. Now you can try and evolve or develop their value system over time as you work with or teach them, because that is definitely a thing. We're yes. almost out of time here, so I'm just hanging out. No, for a no, second. no, you're fine. I say, but that is something to be like if you are in a leadership or teacher position at all and it stresses you out trying to control the people under you because you are, in theory, responsible for their actions, because you know they say if the team does that, it's the leadership's fault. That is basically, it, there is a level of responsibility that does not fall on you once you have equipped them with the proper information. Now, just like grading on a curve, where if everyone didn't understand it, even if you're like, I told you, then you did not communicate it clearly. Yes, and okay? that is your then failing. And that is your failing. But if you have those conversations, and you have them say back to you what you've said so that you can understand that they've understood it, you know, you take that time to have a patient conversation, not in the middle of work of I'll run by and tell you what you need to do, or in the middle of school or whatever, Right. then you will have someone that will be on the same page as you and that will take responsibility for their own action if they decide to do something outside of what you would normally condone, etc. Yes, absolutely. In the meantime! Yes, we are completely out of time, but thank you very much, guys, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. we got links in the description down below. So if you'd like to support us, if you'd like to sponsor us, if you'd just like to have All Might kick Shigaraki's ass, you can yes! tip us! Yes! 
Uh, because honestly, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay, um, but other than that, I have been Scandal. <laughs> and I have been Lies! And it was great playing with you! Bye!